Praise God today, strictly for the streets, man. God put it on my heart, man. He say start a TV show called The Sports Block, man. Look what a blessing he said. Now, God will send you what you need, man. Got one of the top basketball players in the country right now, Keith Applin, man. Praise God, it's a blessing to have you today. Good to see you. Nice war room shirts on, man. I appreciate you. Man, Keith Applin. My friend played basketball together. A and you grew up together, young man. Always been a good friend. More than just a basketball player, man. And I'm just so happy, proud of what he done with his career. Knowing him from a little, know the obstacles he had to face. And I just wanted, you know what I'm saying? Shed some light on himself. Let himself speak, cause a lot of people gonna, you know what I'm saying, try to judge or try to give an outlook, but I think it's always good to let a person speak for themselves. Hear from the horse's mouth, man. Absolutely. So Keith, man, tell us about um hmm. tell us about just your basketball career, your your beginnings and your your inspirations to want to play basketball. Just take us to the beginning. Man, honestly, Mac uh, 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 again, I appreciate you for having me. Oh, God bless you thank as well, you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. But, um, yeah, I mean, it started at a very young age, man. You know, like, actually my uh, my stepfather put the ball in my hands, man. Ever since then, man, I I took off. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I, at first it, it was kind of like puppy love, you know. <laughs> right. Puppy love. Ain't know what you was getting into. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, and then, man, my, my passion for the game just grew more and more, you know, and, and man, I started working hard at it, Became, came to become a pretty decent player, man. Uh, I mean, what, what, what do you mean? So, grade level, sorry, th third grade, fourth grade. You remember EBL, right? Absolutely. EBL All Stars. I was on one side, Lamonte Jenkins. You know what I'm saying? Keith Evans in the EBL All Star game, but it was a lot of powerful, prolific basketball players in that game. So you've been playing since elementary, and then tell us, take us to the point where you realized that you was uh, slightly better than most of the players. Was you from the jump, or when did you realize that? I mean, I I wouldn't say it was from the jump, honestly, man, because she really. And I don't know if you. Hey, hey, you good? Go ahead. I can't. I don't, you. Really though, shit. From especially elementary school, mm -hmm. like man, yeah, I would say, bro, it was probably three, four of the better next, No, I wouldn't say better, but what? very skilled at, at 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 that age, bro. Okay. Isaiah Sykes. Yeah. That yeah, nigga was on stock. Shout out man. Isaiah Tight, you know what I'm saying? He always he played for Priest. I went to yeah. Parkman. He was on Priest. They two top two. And then who else you would say? Because I probably uh, you probably played against him too. The little twins, man. Tevin and Kevin. Okay. I they think the Wilkins. Wilkins. They was on the east, east side. Yeah. Okay. I don't yeah. think I remember them. I don't yeah. remember them, but shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? Shit, who else, man? But we popped y'all though. We popped y'all. Uh, EBL, EBL All Star game. Oh yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah we, we popped y'all by a two, nice twenty piece, seventy to fifty. You know what I'm saying? We know. had a squad, but I, don't I remember all that. It was seventy to fifty, bro. I know the squad. I wouldn't lie, I wouldn't boost, but that's powerful, man. And then, when would you say, like, outside of yourself, when who who did you develop as your first favorite, first player you looked up to that gave you that inspiration? Like, oh yeah. I want kind of, you know what I'm saying? I want to get it in like them. Like on what level? Like NBA? NBA or street? AI. 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 Okay. AI. AI. Kobe. Okay. T Mac. T Mac. Man, what? Come on, bro. Ray Allen and the young Ray Allen. Mm hmm. Come on, man. So let's give people proper perspective. You've been playing basketball consistently and hard and uh, on a daily basis at what grade? Man, since third grade, bro. Third grade. So, third grade. To not, you still playing basketball consistently. And, okay, let's talk about something else. You had a powerful high school basketball, middle school, went to Nolan, mm -hmm. just for those who don't know. Coach Mark was the coach, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out Coach Mark. Yeah, and coach play, Mark. and you reach legends, you know what I'm saying? And you reach legends, we played together. And then let's talk about your high school career, prior to mm -hmm. high school. Mm -hmm. What would you say about 
your high school career, your own terms? I mean, just for those who don't know, or just like, what would you, what would your perspective be on it? My perspective. I mean, I feel like just looking back, cause that's how I was. Just looking back at what other players accomplished, bro, in the city. Mm -hmm. I feel like we could have did more. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a little bit like a little regret. Like, like, like you want to take, could have been the best team to ever play. And that show a lot about you. Why? Because it was a team game. And we gonna stop. That's why I said let you play that. Cause that show where your mind at. Your mind was on the team. You a team player. Absolutely. Keep Applin is a team player. Anybody that want that want to play back, you won't keep Applin on your team. He a team player. And then on top of that, but with that being said, you was Mr. Basketball, right? Mm -hmm. Went to the McDonald's All American game. Yes, sir. Talk about some of the players that was on the team that was in the McDonald's All American game. Talk about a little bit of that experience about the McDonald's All American game. Man, it was a cool experience, man. Like shit, be, being able to compete against the other top players in the country, man. It was it, it was a great atmosphere. Give me a couple. It was like wonderful kind down there, bro. Like like some shit that really fucked me up though. Mm -hmm. Nigga, we went on like a field trip, bro. We we went to the um the Ronald McDonald House for for little kids or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. We kick it with the kids, whatever. That shit was cool. But then it was lunch time, bro. They took us to McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Now mind you, back in the day, nigga, Coach Mark used to tell me like. Bro, if you McDonald's, you get free McDonald's for the rest of your life. So the whole time, wow. listen, it's a lot, it's a lot, bro. Yeah. So the whole time, I'm thinking like, man, we gotta like, get these cars. These free McDonald's for life cars. <laughs> <laughs> but that was in your head. That was in your geek up. Like, Coach Mark know what he talking about. He been in the game. We about to get some free life. But he a jokester like that, though. He you know? fucked me up, bro. Right. <laughs> we in the McDonald's, right? Uh -huh. We in the McDonald's. They like, all right, y'all go ahead. Just make whatever y'all want. Or you can wait for them to make it. Mm -hmm. Niggas all in the back making the ice cream, flipping the burgers and shit. It's our shit. It's our shit for right now, bro. Mm -hmm. But then I asked nigga like the nigga uh Bob uh Bob Gibbons and his wife was sitting right next to me. Who is he? Bob Gibbons? No, Bob Gibbons. It's a lot of people like that. He used dude. to be a coach, bro. He had okay. a, a, a big a big AAU tournament. Okay. He's a good a big player in AAU basketball, sir. Basketball world. World. NBA, all that. Yeah, bro. Okay. So him and his wife were sitting next to me, bro. I asked him, like, so do we get free McDonald's for the rest of our lives? <laughs> Yo, goofy. <laughs> they laughed at me. <laughs> <laughs> like this nigga, they like, the whole time. I'm like, man, this nigga Coach Mark, bro. <laughs> Think about him and your man, like he got you good. <laughs> As you go into one thing, you get free free down for your yeah, life, you make it. But it was like a, it was like a, being your, it was like a motivation for you too. Like, why get him? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? You was expecting your reward. Yeah. But who was a couple players you played with in that game? That's that people may know now. Uh, on my team. Uh, damn. We got Tristan Thompson. Tristan Thompson. Uh, Chloe X. Duran Lamb. Duran Lamb. Uh, Corey Joseph. Corey Joseph. Uh, man, so that's. Yeah, I think I think Ray was on our team too. Ray McCullough. Ray McCullough. Oh yeah, Ray McCullough was on your team too. I think, yeah, I think he was on our team. Uh, was a lot of friendly competition. Think, uh, like Harrison, Harrison Barnes. Harrison Barnes, NBA yeah. champion. Harrison Barnes. What you mean was a lot of friendly competition? I mean, like who better? Like I'm really, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm really the best on the team or in the country right in now. The practices? Yeah, the practices or just around. It was just all cool. It was just all you know, mingle mingle. Like, I mean, it's, you know, some guys. Who are, uh, but enough. 